Hey there guys! Today we're gonna learn how to make a Roblox dummy that's gonna follow the player around similar to these Roblox babies here inside Pebble Heaven. You see everywhere I go the babies they're all following me. Alright so let's now go to studio and learn how to make that. So here we are inside Roblox studio the first thing I'm gonna need is a dummy. So I'm gonna go to my avatar menu tab. I'm gonna click on rig builder. We're gonna add a rig. I'm just gonna select a skin avatar, a masculine skin avatar. Let me move it over here. Whoops. Okay, and we're gonna rotate it. Okay, so there's my rig. Basically, these rigs they come with everything that you need to make your own dummy your own npc whatever you need it has the humanoid object inside of it and it has the animation that comes with the rig so everything is ready for you to use basically if i want to turn this rig into my starter character i'm just going to go and change the name of the rig here to starter character and now i'm going to move the starter character into the folder name starter player and now if we play we're gonna see that my character is gonna be that male rig and here I am that's my character and look at that I'm running it has the animation it has the jump animation run animation all that good stuff right now let's go back to studio so again, basically that rig that we get from Rig Builder comes with everything that you need for your NPC. So now let's get another rig. We're going to click on Rig Builder again. And this time, how about we get a feminine skin avatar. And there is my rig. Let me rotate it. Okay, and we're going to move it over here all right so that's my female rig so to have a dummy an npc in your game you cannot name it starter character because if you name it starter character you're gonna spawn in as that starter character so your character is gonna become that rig right so in order to have an npc in your game you gotta put it inside the workspace or you need to move it into the workspace after you start your game so here we're going to have this NPC inside the workspace, right? And the name of the, the NPC is Rick. So now let's play and take a look, see what happened. So still, my character is the male skin avatar, right? And look at the female skin avatar. She is there, but she's not doing anything. She's just standing there why because she's a dummy so with the dummy you have to give it instructions on what to do otherwise it's just gonna stand there so let's go back to studio we're gonna put a follow script inside the dummy so that the dummy the female rig is gonna follow my character or maybe follow an object let's say we're gonna make an object for the female rig to follow right let's go back to studio all right, so the object that I would like this dummy rig to follow is this target part right here. So I have a part, a regular part named target part, and that's the object that I want the female rig to follow. So now let's go to the female rig. We're going to add a script. Let me look for my script, and here it is. So let's name this follow script. Let me get rid of this Wingus script right here. Now, again, so we have added a follow script into the female rig. And inside your follow script, just insert the following lines. On the first line here, I'm declaring the target. The target is the target part that I showed you earlier. It's this part right here. So that is my target here. The rig is the female rig. So script.parent 
let me see where is our script we lost it let's go back to the, the rig and I'm gonna look for the follow script here so here's our follow script here right script dot parent it is the rig it is the female rig and then we're just gonna wait for eight seconds for everything to load we have an infinite while loop here so it's gonna wait every one second and it's gonna execute everything inside this while loop everything inside the while loop is just a one line statement and basically the statement we're moving the rig to the target position what is the target position it is the position of the target part let me now go up here I'm gonna do a run here to test so here's my target part and we're gonna give it about eight seconds for the rig to wake up and she should move to the target position you see when I move my target position somewhere it's gonna follow so that is our follow script it follows wherever the target is going that's where the dummy is gonna go the only thing you notice here is the dummy does not have the the uh, the run and jump animation you see it does not run like when it runs it, it, it doesn't have the animation right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the animation to this dummy now before we get to the animation part so you see here we have a part named target part and that's where the dummy is following right but what if we want the dummy to follow a player how would we do that let's go back to the follow script so instead of this one statement here we're gonna replace it with these three statements so on this line here we're getting all the players inside the game and we're just gonna make the dummy follow the first player that it finds inside the game so basically we're, we're moving the dummy using the move to function the same function as earlier but instead of moving it to the target position we're moving it to the position of the character let's now play and take a look so here I am I'm the male rig and there is the female rig and she's following me wherever I go the female rig is gonna follow me and some of you may recognize this thing right here that is the MHTTP teleporter that we had in our prior tutorial alright so uh, again the only thing that the female rig needs here is the running animation she doesn't she does not have the running animation right now let's go back to studio and see how we can do that as I have said before the rig comes with everything that you need so why doesn't the animation work in this case when it worked when I used the rig as my starter character and the reason for that is this animate script here it's a local script so we need to make that into a service script because the local script is not gonna work inside the workspace so I'm gonna go to my rig here I'm gonna add a regular script and let me look for it it's right here so I'm gonna name this script animate you must name it animate for it to work and now we're gonna go to the local animate script I'm gonna expand that and I'm gonna copy everything under the local anime script or better yet I'm gonna cut and paste so I'm gonna select everything under the local animate script I'm gonna do right click and cut and I'm gonna paste it into the new script that I just created name anime which is right here I'm gonna right click and paste into Alright, so I have moved everything under the local script 
to the new animate script, the next thing we want to do is we're, go we're going to go back to the local animate script. Let's open that up. And we're going to we want to copy everything in here. So I'm going to do a control A to select everything and control X to cut. We're going to go back to the animate script that we have created. We're going to paste everything into the script. Control V to paste. Our local animate script should be empty. We can just go ahead, right click and delete that. And now let's play and take a look. So here I am, and there's the female rig. Give her a few seconds to wake up, and she woke up. And look at that, she's running, and she has the animation when she's moving. All right guys, so that's how you make a dummy follow a character. And that is the simplest way to build a follow script in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care.